Oh, what's going on, man? Actually, I'm not at the phone right now, but I'll probably pick up later on. Hey, Desmond. It's, uh, it's me. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I really am, you know. I wish I could help. I'm really sorry that you were pressured. I'm really sorry that people, people's opinions forced you to do things that you didn't want to. I'm sorry that pushing people away seemed like the right thing to do. And I'm sorry that trying to come back from the things that you did was so hard. You know, I'm trying not to, not to break down and I'm trying to be strong. I know you don't know me. Desmond, I... I want you to know that... I'm going to try and make it okay. I'm going to keep doing this for you. And that you are my hero. And that you'll always be my hero. Yeah, I know I seem like a kid. And I'm only 18. A lot of people are going to think this is stupid. But I don't. You know, and you're right, right? Maybe we are all gods. We choose what we do with our lives from the very beginning. Got to make your own choices, right? You rule your own perception. No one makes choices for you. You make choices for you. You made yours. But I'm going to keep going. Bye, Desmond. Yeah, this hit me pretty hard. And I know that, you know, he's not, like, close to me or whatever, but I had to get away. It means a lot to me. You know, I just... I wish there's more that I could do, more that I could see from him. But... You know, similarly to what his few last words were, uh, at least publicly, um, I really hope that his story does show that people should get help for what they need. They should regulate themselves on, you know, how much social media they can take or whatever the case may be. Anyway, I, uh, I left town for a few days. I, uh, decided to go with no cell service, no internet, for a few days. Went with a few friends, asked if I could go with them. And I did. It was good. I think I might have gone a little further than I thought I was going to. I knew he wasn't doing well. I mean, that much was obvious. I just, I didn't realize that, you know, it was that bad. I thought... I thought he was getting better. I've been reflecting on a lot. I got this tattoo done. Um, it's the same tattoo that C&B got. I wanted this for a while, but... See, on the 20th, 
right on midnight when he posted that video. Well, it was 9 o'clock for me on the 19th, but that doesn't matter. The point is, is that the very next day, I went and got this done. You know, I stopped saying, you know, I can't do things. For a lot of people, I think making a first step is important. Mine was this. It symbolizes being a member of this community. It makes me remember him always, that I'll have a piece of it, you know, with me at all times. It hurts and it helps in both ways. I'd like to think that he'd be proud of the generation that's coming, you know, the people that make another step past him. I'd like to say that he would enjoy the rest of life. You know, I just wish he had friends. I'm not really going to let this stop me from doing a lot. I just think that I need to move forward. Over the past two years, I've had a pretty hard mental journey that I went through, and Desmond, from the very little that I know about the subject in comparison to people who were actually close to him, For me, which I'm, I'm pretty sure this is obvious, he was in denial for so long. I think he put up a face so that he wouldn't hurt people, you know, but it obviously didn't work. And, uh, yeah, we all got hurt. Him the most, though. The other thing for me, when I started my journey through my mental health to get help, I was really suicidal. I, I didn't want to continue. I could go on all on about that. But the point was that I ended up getting help. I feel the best I've felt in my entire life. And to hear that my hero couldn't do the same someone that I really look up to, really hurts. I know from a, you know, <laughs> on the social media side and everything with thousands, hundreds of thousands of people looking at you all the time, it's hard. I think that people need to stop taking what everyone says to heart all the time. Especially negative things. I hope that you, whoever's watching, don't have these issues. Don't have these issues of people harassing you, of you having to question the things you do constantly. And I hope that you can just have fun and make what you want on this platform. Because that's what it's meant for. It's not meant for drama. And it's certainly not meant to hurt people. I'll be fine. I just can't leave this unturned for much longer. He meant a lot to me. And I'm going to stay a Joy-Con boy. No matter what anyone thinks, no matter how misconstrued the community has been over the past year, 
no matter what the Reddit looks like, no matter what Scott thinks. It's Joy-Con Boys forever. You know what? It wasn't just some stupid name. It wasn't, it wasn't just a cute name for his community. It was a symbol of not just him, but all of kind of those people in New York, kind of the Nintendo community, it meant a lot, and it still does. At least to me, I don't know, maybe I'm blowing it all out of proportion or whatever, but yeah. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep being stronger. I'm going to stop this before I keep on repeating myself.